There is tremendous energy stealing going on in sex. As even two people who supposedly love each other, perhaps even partners together, having sex, most of the time it is still energy stealing. There's such a heavy overlay in consciousness in humanity regarding sex that even if they don't consciously attempt to steal energy while supposedly making love, that's what they end up doing anyway. And after a while, sex becomes very unfulfilling for them from a heart level. But they're getting some energy out of it, so they continue. They continue to um, expand their boundaries, so to speak. They go out looking for other partners, even if they've made a commitment to only one. They participate in pornography. They get into some very distorted and twisted forms of a very beautiful energy. And in the consciousness of humanity right now, it's very sad to say that, that sex is second rate. Sex is considered dark. Sex is considered a negative in most cases. The churches teach that, that sex, even with yourself, is something God loathes. You'll go to hell for it. And if you even begin to enjoy sex on a deep and open and free level, that it's going to displease God. This is a very, very heavy overlay on earth right now. Take a look at your own life your own experiences with sex, starting back to perhaps when you were very young, into your early teens. Think about the, the shame and the guilt that might have been put upon you for doing this thing called masturbating. The shame and the guilt that was associated with your very first encounters with sex with another person. And think about how, how over the years the sex either became routine, boring, or you started looking everywhere else for fulfillment in your sexual ventures. I ask you to take a look at your own sexual relations with other people. And that is probably the pinnacle of feeding if it's going to happen. When you're sharing in that most intimate, loving, a physical experience with another person, if there is an energy manipulation going on, they can really do it at that point. In other words, is this experience that you're having with them loving? Is it fulfilling for both? Is it sharing? Is it, is it joyful? Is, is it joyful? Or is it something where you can feel the feeding going on? Because that's the most intimate time and place that we have as humans is during sex with someone else. If you have a partner, for instance, that is not in, in a compatible sexual consciousness with you, just breathe with them. Lay, lay in bed together, just naked or partially clothed or whatever, breathe with them for a little bit. If, if they find it intolerable, if they're like, just um, wondering why you're going crazy again, uh, wanting to lay there and breathe. If, if they are just in it for just physical sex, you need to really evaluate whether that's the right sexual partner for you. And, and it applies to you also, breathe with you first. If you're not willing to do that, well, you can't really find another sexual partner, but then forget about sex. If you can't stop and just breathe and feel and allow, uh, my friends, um, it's, there, are some, there are some other issues going on. You're resisting. One of the greatest gifts, if there are seven wonders of being a human, that is perhaps one of them, the ability to completely, uh, wholly in, in, in dive into an experience that involves body, mind, spirit, for indeed when you truly make love, when you truly have sex, it involves every part of you, not just mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Humans don't even know what to think about sex anymore. They just know they're driven to it. But is that really 
is that really, uh, the, for the most part, fulfilling? Is that really what you, the angels, intended it to be? And Tobias talks about it. I'll talk about it more in advanced SES. But this whole idea of, I'll say the word in front of God and everybody. <laughs> Masturbation. <laughs> What's wrong with loving yourself in every way? Is there something wrong with loving yourself physically? Is it supposed to just be, oh, I know, you're just supposed to be nice to yourself. <laughs> no, please. I, in, in Atlantis, in some of the earlier, better days, no, there was <laughs> – the young ones were taught to honor their bodies in every way, if you know what I mean, long before they could ever have a partner. How can you be intimate with somebody if you're not comfortable with being intimate with yourself? Ring a bell? 